Would you say these seem calmer than our other chicks we had? Hmm. As far as picking them up and petting them? That's the same. They'll probably be calmer when they get more used to being pet. I think they seem pretty calm. We may decide to keep these if they turn out really pretty. Mm -hmm. We've never had white chickens before. We've always had colorful ones. When the babies are really energetic and they don't really want to see them be paid usually. And these are pretty calm. It's at least sit still for a few seconds before they move again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. The others were always very wiggly and they wanted to move around and walk around and run around. It seemed like the other ones too, they had not saying these don't have much personality because they do, but the others, we had so many of them at one time mm -hmm. that it just having all 10 of those, um, whatever they were, Americana or Easter egg or they just all had such individual personalities. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yep. I wonder who wound up being uh, the one that we used to call Bubble, you know. Bubble. Yeah, let's, yeah let's just say Bubbles. I don't know. The only reason we, we called her Bubbles was because she blew a bubble one time. Wasn't it one of the red ones that wound up being a red one? Mm -hmm. Pepper anymore. I think it was one of the brown ones. Not the Easter eggs, but the spectacles. So it's always good to get your chicks out. When you first get them, you don't want to do this. You want to let them get acclimated to being in a new environment and recuperating if you bought them from a hatchery or if you bought them from somewhere. And, uh, but after they've had time to acclimate to the temperature, water, food, and being in a new place it's good to slowly start getting them if you want them to be tamed getting them out and petting them a little or just petting them a little in inside the uh, brooder feeding them treats you can give them like mealworms sometimes you have to crush them up for them or just let them peck at it and hold it for them but it's a good way to get them started that's how we have our girls outside train to come whenever and also our chickens i mean our turkeys well both our chickens and our turkeys are trained to come when for treats we started training them with saying treats treats here's treats we have treats and of course with the uh turkeys it was a little different we would say worms we have the worms because we had all turkeys the last ones we raised were all turkeys we raised together and they uh, they really love mealworms, didn't they, Mai? Mm-hmm. They were crazy for mealworms. Mm-hmm. And so we just started saying, the worm, the worm. And they would just, they caught on real quick. So that's how we get our turkeys put up when we let them out to free range. And they just follow us for the treats. Yeah, and now they just follow us. Sometimes we don't even have to say anything. But we do give them the reward because we want them to always know they're going to get it because animals are pretty smart. And, uh, I mean, eventually you can stop giving it to them all the time, but especially dogs. But, um, but you want to keep giving them a small reward. That one seems really sweet. Mm -hmm. There's one out of all of them. I don't know which one it is. It seems like it likes to be petted a little more than the others. Yeah. Sure this isn't the one? Mm. This one is Angel. But this is the biggest, fattest one. So. Whichever one is the one that really loves to be petted, that's one I think you called Angel, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, my daughter's back to naming all the chicks again. She complained because I named one of the baby turkeys. 
<laughs> and here she's named just about all the chickens. And we have like, right now we have um, 23 chickens. Well, if these make it to adulthood, right now we have 19 hens. I mean, we all named them at one point, but we forgot who's who. And I ended up naming them all after their personalities. Well, you do more with the chickens mm -hmm. than I do. I was more of the one that raised the turkey. So I kind of took over that role. It's okay. Honestly, like you said, when they're this little and we name them, it's hard to know who's who when they get older mm -hmm. until they start looking a little bit more, what's that word, indistinguishable or something like that. Yeah, distinguished. Distinct. wonder which one that one is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think it's one of the chickens. I think she's changed the most. <laughs> This is our baby Polt. Strawberry green. Too slippery right there, Strider. You can't hold on. You know, it's balanced as the chicks. Strider or Sunshine, what do you think? At this point, it's anybody's guess, but if you're watching this video and you'd like to take a guess, we'll let you know. And they're about three or four months old. And as they get older than that, if it's a male or a female. When I first saw him, I thought it was a he. thought it was a boy. But we're hoping it's a girl because it would be better for us to have another girl. Mm -hmm. so if it's a girl, we're going to call her Sunshine. And if it's a boy, we're going to call him Strider. So... This one likes to move around. Yeah. So, so far, do you think his personality is totally different from all the other poults we raised? A little bit. This one likes to move around until he finds a comfortable spot. And usually, he just goes right up to you. And then, let's see pet. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of our other chicks did that, did they? Any poults? No. Um... The only one that really liked to be petted the most was Finley. Mm -hmm. And Finley turned out to be a girl. And then, you know, Morgan was very independent. And she did take to you a little more than she did me, but... He's always been really independent, though. Mm-hmm. And then Jackson was really sweet, too. I think he was the next one that liked to be petted the most mm -hmm. next to Finley. And Shiloh never really liked... He tolerated it, but he never really, like... Really wanted to be petted a lot. Yeah, he always got tired of it and fought eventually. Yep. This one's really sweet. Mm -hmm. It's going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, this video is almost nine minutes. Just for baby chickens. See how she put them to sleep? She's a chicken whisperer and obviously the turkey whisperer as well. <laughs> well, we're going to end this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and comment if you'd like to. And tell us if you think this little baby poke, you think it's a boy or a girl. Have a sunshiny day.